Hello and welcome to Infinity. The two main ways that gradients are used, one is as an overlay and the other is in a mask. So let's look at both of them in this image. First of all, we're going to add a new layer, just add a pixel layer there. And then we're going to go to the gradient tool, which is the little circle here. Let's start off by just drawing from the top down, so we just click and drag, and we're drawing there. It automatically goes to a linear um, mask because up, up there it says none at the moment, but the moment I let go, I think that changes to linear. That's one I use a great deal, which is great for toning down and fading things. But the picture underneath has disappeared. So let's do something about that. We normally use um, blend modes, but we're going to do a bit of that later. But first of all, let's just go here, look for a colour, and let's say a mid to dark blue there, and then at the other end of the gradient, which is this bottom point, we're just going to make it transparent, so use the opacity here. And there we go. And there you've got this effect. Now where we've got a more interesting sky. It's gone for the blue at the top. We could change that colour if we want to, just clicking here and going back up here. And we could also have an effect down here. But also we can use this gradient with blend mode. So let's have a look at what we can do. So if I go to the normal here and go down here and you get various effects. And there you go, multiply. Immediately you've got a much darker blue there. And it's perhaps more of a natural light colour and you could go down and try other things. Overlay is often good but let's just stick with the multiply for now. What we'll do also is we'll go back up here to the gradient colour control and we'll go to the other end, the right hand end here, turn the opacity right up. It was grey before there so it's still not bad but what we want to do is make that a bit more orange down here. So. We'll go to this and we'll just go to a kind of middle orange there and look what it does to it. It's immediately there's a lot more light in the sky there, isn't there? So that's kind of interesting by itself. And uh, so the, that's the kind of thing we can do. We can even play around further here, but let's move on and we're going to go to the background now. And we are going to have a look at using a mask here. And if you look at the, the histogram up here, you can see everything is all down this end here. And if you want to bring a bit more detail into here for whatever's down here, we need to pull it all the way down here so the white point is somewhere in here. So let's use levels for that. And there we go. So let's pull the white level down here and look at the bottom and first thing we're happening is actually the sky is going a bit bananas but don't worry about that that's what we're going to use the mask for and here as we move down here we can see something appearing here we've got a bit of road here with a car and another one there so let's keep that for now and what we're going to do is paint on the mask here so if we paint just onto there it effectively ends up on the mask we're going to put a another gradient there so let's just we've already got the tools selected so we'll just drag on here and that creates a gradient, but it's not the gradient we want. White we do want at the bottom because we want to keep the levels here, but we want to get rid of the effect of this levels up in the sky here. We want to go back to as it was before. So in other words, this top end here, rather than grey, we want it to be black. So there we go, that restores that to what it was. We're losing a little bit down here. We could control this with this here. We can drag the middle point. We actually put a middle point on there, didn't we? But it has the same effect. We can bring this up and down to increase the detail here. Or we can go back to the levels control here and we can pull that white down a little bit more to get a bit more detail in there. We don't want to have too much because otherwise you're going to get a lot of noise from the shadows here. But there's a bit more that we can see there. And uh, there we go. Let's leave it there. What we've got is a nice uh, gradient up here. Let's click the hand so you can see that. So we've got a bit more detail here and we've got a nice colouring across the sky. If I alt click on the levels there, that's the mask that we created there. 
going up from white up here and a fade off here by dragging the middle up so the transition is shorter up here and alt click up there we've got the blue there but the orange is coming down here as well it's going over the land so it's affecting the land as well where those lighter areas they're going to get that lower orange tint which is probably pretty good you can always paint on these because this is a pixel layer now it's not something special so i could for example take the erase brush go over here and click that a couple of times i've got it on about 20 percent opacity so i'm painting a bit there to bring the sun out a bit more making that just a little bit lighter so there we go that's it and thank you very much for watching